Next we have probably the largest group of Catholics in Hollywood. They're actors you probably know and maybe love, but that you didn't know are Catholic. You can call them privately Catholic. Like to call them Air Catholic. <laughs> Stephen Colbert. On his show, The Colbert Report, Stephen Colbert portrays a die-hard, conservative, traditional-leaning Catholic, much like me. However, to realize Stephen Colbert is also a registered Democrat, so the jokes of, on his show about homosexuality and those few about issues surrounding abortion appear to indicate that he may not fully agree with the church's position on these issues. Top of that, real-life Stephen Colbert is very private, so we'll never really know what he really thinks. Always been suspicious of real life Stephen Colbert. But I absolutely love the Colbert Report, Stephen Colbert. <laughs> Adrian and Lima wears a scapular and vowed to remain a virgin until married, which is very commendable in this day and age, especially. However, Adrian and Lima makes her living as a victorious secret model, strutting herself down the catwalk half naked most of the time. Note that Kylie Basuti, a Christian but apparently not Catholic, quit her job as a Victoria's Secret model because she came to feel conflicted with her Christian faith. Often wonder why Adriana Lima doesn't feel the same way. Liam Neeson, star of such films like Taken, Batman Begins, and the Star Wars, Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. He discovered the spiritual exercise of St. Ignatius of Loyola while filming the mission, and continues to admire them. Still practices the Catholic faith, and has been raising his children in the Catholic faith. So that's great. He does, though, play a suicidal atheist in the gray, and once considered converting to Islam. Andy Garcia, star of a great number of great films such as The Godfather Part 3 and the Ocean's Eleven series. Andy Garcia will be starring in a film for greater glory, formerly known as Cristiada, but the Mexican Cristeros Rebellion. The film is being promoted by Jason Jones, producer of the movie Bella, and his organization, Movie to Movement. Yes, I've met Jason Jones. Neil McDonough most recently appeared as Dum Dum Dugan in the film Captain America. He was also in the film Minority Report and starred in the Sci-Fi Channel miniseries Tin Man, which I really liked. That was back in the day when the Sci-Fi Channel was really good. Most notably though, he was originally supposed to be on a show called Scoundrels, but was fired because he refused to do sex scenes because he's a Catholic. Great for him. Also participated in the Truth and Life dramatized audio mic. Mark Wahlberg has also been in too many movies to recount, but most notably The Departed. Appeared. He apparently started out as a member of New Kids on the Block and also started his own hip-hop group called Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Mark Wahlberg was raised Roman Catholic and is still a committed Catholic who attends Mass every day. Donnie Wahlberg. You can't say Mark Wahlberg was raised Catholic without mentioning Donnie Wahlberg, Mark's brother and partner in crime, in New Kids on the Block. He's currently starring as a practical Catholic police detective from a devout Catholic police family on the very Catholic friendly CBS show Blue Bloods. I actually said Grace at their weekly family dinner in a recent episode. John Voight is one of the few notable Hollywood conservatives, even supporting the Tea Party. He's also Catholic even portraying Blessed Pope John Paul the Great in a CBS miniseries called, called Pope John Paul II back in 2005. He also fathered Angelina Jolie, but that shouldn't be held against him. Davy Jones, God rest his soul, was the most famous of the monkeys. He was laid to rest in a Catholic funeral in the Catholic Church in Florida. That says something. <laughs> A friend of mine once met Davy Jones. <laughs> Alec Guinness. God rest his soul. Starred as the original Obi-Wan Kenobi in the original Star Wars trilogy. It was a controversy of Catholicism. 
He converted because while filming Father Brown in 1954, an adaptation of G.K. Chesterton's Father Brown detective story in Burgundy, young French child mistook him for an actual priest and chattered away in French with him before running off. Guinness was impressed by how much confidence and affection the clerical attire appeared to inspire in the boy. So he converted. Jennifer Cadena, young rising star in Hollywood mostly involved with Jason Jones' movie to movement. She did most notably play an RA in the film The Roommate, which may not have been the most appropriate movie. Earned though that when she read the script, all the dirty stuff wasn't in. Yes, I've met her too. I'm going to include the next two in this group, but they are conceivably eligible for the next group reserved for those who are most Catholic. They've just starred and been involved in more traditional Hollywood projects, for the most part. Jim Caviezel played Jesus in The Passion of the Christ. He adopted a child from China to prove how pro-life he was, and ended up adopting two more. Currently stars as John Reese, an enigmatic ex-CIA agent on the CBS show Person of Interest, which I love. This is where a tiny issue arises. Jim Caviezel apparently once vowed that he would never take a role conflicting with his Catholic faith, when the first episode Reese appears to be in a sexual relationship with this woman. However, there are, there's still a lot we don't know about Reese. He may conceivably have been married to this one. Later episodes seem that they separated at some point. I think it is just best to trust Jim Caviezel's judgment. He was Jesus, after all. <laughs> Mel Gibson is a traditionalist Catholic and produced the film The Passion of the Christ. Yet he still goes to Mass only in Latin. However, he is most well known for more traditional Hollywood films like the uber violent Mad Max series and the Lethal Weapon series. Oh yeah, I'm sick of this stuff. In need. So yeah. Now finally, the most Catholic people in Hollywood. And of course, you've never heard of them. Eduardo Verastegui starred in the movie Bella. He was an up-and-coming star of Mexican soap operas and films on his way to a su successful career in Hollywood when he had a conversion experience that led him to vow to only perform in films that did not conflict with his faith. So that effectively ended his rising star. Now he's mostly involved in, in films that are related to Jason Jones' movie to movement. He will also appear in the upcoming film For Greater Glory or Christiana. The funny thing is, before all of this, he started in the film Chasing Papi. <laughs> really? <laughs> that movie was terrible. Dolores Hart, I'm going to include Dolores Hart even though she's technically no longer an actress, but still a member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Sciences. Dolores Hart was once an actress in the 1950s, starring alongside Elvis Presley in the film Loving You. She eventually was called to vocation, quit acting and became a nun. She's the only nun to be a member of the Academy. She actually attended the 2012 Academy Awards because her documentary, God is Bigger Than Elvis, was nominated for an Oscar. So what can, can, what can we conclude from all of this? Paradoxically, those Hollywood types most vocal about the Catholic faith are those on opposite ends of the spectrum. The ex-Catholics and loosey goosey types flaunt elements of Catholicism and perverse mockery of it and the really Catholic types truly celebrate their faith in everything they work on. I was concerned, however, over the ones I refer to as their Catholics. All Catholics are called to live their faith in everything we do. Our work especially, work especially. By everything we do, everyone should know you're Catholic. So what does it say about Catholics in Hollywood and the vast majority are of them are working in films that, while they don't necessarily conflict with the Catholic faith, they don't really showcase or promote. Shouldn't they all be like Eduardo Verastegui and Jim Caviezel, to a lesser extent? When Mel Gibson and Mark Wahlberg and Liam Neeson are shooting up some, shooting up some bad guy in an action movie, they're in, aren't they potentially setting a bad example 
for those fans who know they're Catholic? I guess we can say that an actor isn't responsible for the actions or beliefs of their characters. Back in the Middle Ages, when they put on passion plays, someone had to be Pilate. Someone had to be Judas. That didn't reflect badly in the guys that played them. Adrian and Liam, I can't really use that explanation. Victoria's Secret model isn't necessarily a character. Maybe it helps that we don't know that they're Catholic, but then that's not the point of being Catholic. <laughs> I think most of all, it's just the way Hollywood is. Hollywood is run by secular elites. They shove off Eduardo Verstegui into a little corner and endlessly praise Madonna and Lady Gaga. Those their Catholic actors may really want to do more roles that are life and faith affirming and speak more openly about their faith, but Hollywood doesn't give them a chance to. We should definitely then follow Jason Jones' lead by demanding Hollywood make more life and faith affirming films at the box office by seeing those films when they come out. I think what we can take from this in the end is best encapsulated by Psalm 138, 7-12. Where can I get go from your spirit? From your presence, where can I flee? If I ascend to heavens, there you are. If I lie down in Sheol, there you are. If I take the wings of dawn and dwell beyond the sea, even there your hands guide me. Your right hand holds me fast. If I say, surely darkness shall hide me, and night shall be my light. Darkness is not dark for you, and night shines as the day. Darkness and light are but one. There is no place you can hide from, escape from God. God is everywhere. Even in a secular bastion like Hollywood, you can still find those who are willing to continue living the Catholic faith. This concludes Mario Pacheco's full chair of rage. If you like what you have seen, please like, favorite, subscribe, and comment. All those nice things. Thank you for watching. God bless you all. And God bless America.